Hey guys! Welcome to another world edit tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use set and replace. So set is a pretty easy one. You can get it when you're voting. You get two hours of it and seven dollars when you vote. So to start, you get your wand and you set your positions and then you can set a block in that area. So I can set one and it will finish the cube. Now let's say I wanted to set more than one block. I can also do this. I can set 1, 4, and 155, and then it'll set different presents of stone, cobble, and quartz. Now of course, when you do it like this, it splits the percents evenly, so there's an even number of each one. But I could also put percents in each one, so let's say I want less stone, so I put 10% stone. and maybe I want like 20% quartz, so just a little bit more, and then I want the 70% as 155. You need it to equal 100% of course. Then I would change it, and now it's mostly quartz, a little bit of cobble, and a very small amount of stone. This comes in handy when you're doing floors, or sometimes filling in terraforming where you've used a brush. I can also set air if I want to get rid of something. So let's say I don't want this cube anymore, now I slash slash set, zero, or air, and it will get rid of the cube for me. Now another way to use this is in builds, let's say I want to set a wall right here so that I can begin my build. So I set my first position at the bottom, second position at the top, and I slash I set five for wood. Now if you're not sure what the IDs of these blocks are, you can check them by doing slash item db. And you can see that it gives me the ID right there, 5, 0. Same for spruce, if I use the same command, this one is 5, 1. So that's what you need to type in in your world edit command for the block that you want to use. Now obviously we don't want a flat wall like that, so we would have to decorate it and get something like this as our end result. Alright, so the next command is slash slash replace. Now this is a very, very useful command because it allows you to experiment with blocks and easily change them back or replace them if you don't like them. So let's take the bee I built here. So I don't really like that I use gold blocks and purple wings. It was for a alien plot, but now let's say I want to move it somewhere more natural. I don't want it to be shiny gold anymore. So I can set my positions around the bee and I can replace the blocks that I don't like, very simply. Pose 2, so I'm going to go a little lower with that. And then I have to replace gold blocks with a clay that I want. So gold is 41, and clay is 159.4. So I slash slash replace 41, 159.4. And it replaces the gold with a much more dull yellow clay, which is exactly what I wanted. Now the purple wings don't fit either. So I also want to replace them. So I will replace, I'm not sure what purple they are, hmm, I think they're the dark purple. 9510 with 950. Replace 9510 with 950. And you can see that just the wings are replaced, very, very simply. So the best thing about this command is if you were using pretty much anything else, all of the blocks will get replaced. We don't want this, so we can pick a specific block to get replaced, which is really good when you're in a more complex building and you don't want to replace all of the blocks that are so close together. You can't just easily select all of one block. Well, replace allows you to do that. So let's say I wanted to replace the entire B. I could also do that, I just don't, I only put in one number, so I can replace the B, let's say I want to make a gold B, an entirely gold B. So I only do one number, I do slash slash replace 41, and the entire B gets replaced with gold, because I didn't select a block to get replaced. Alright, so let's say I don't like the color of these leaves. I want to add more air and change around the type of the leaves. 
I can do this very easily with the replace command. So I can slash slash replace 18, which selects both types of leaves because I'm not putting a second number. Like I, if I did 18, 0, then that would only select oak leaves. But I'm just putting 18. So it'll replace all the leaves. I've already put my positions, if you're wondering. So now let's say I want to replace it with that, some more air, and that one. So this changes it. Spruce, jungle, and air. Completely changes the look of my tree. Very handy. One more thing that's very good to note is these logs here in trees. So you see how they have the tops on them? You can make them the six-sided logs very easily with the command replace. So, what we're going to do is select our area, which I've already done in this case, and we're going to replace it with the full logs. So, slash slash replace 17 with 17, I think it's 12, it might be 13. Let's try 13. Oh, yep, you can see that six-sided so logs come in. So this works for anything. So 12 is oak, and then we have to undo it. And then 14 would be birch, but it's all six-sided logs. Undo again, let's see what 15 is. Jungle wood. So you can pick from this the six-sided log that you wish to use for your tree. It makes the trees look a lot better when there's not random logs sticking out from them. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Remember, don't be afraid to use these commands. You have to get used to them in order to be able to use them efficiently in your builds. I can't wait to see your guys' plots when you're using these techniques in them. I hope it helps you guys to improve and to rank up on a Membi a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!